Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Today we're going to briefly talk about the geometry of using 10 degrees downward tilt on different chainsaw sharpener models. Bit of confusion out there. Someone was reading out of a manual and manual was telling them, or so he said, he said on page so-and-so, it told him uh, to push the vice away. And on the other page, it told him to pull the vice towards him. Anyway, so I've looked on my manual, uh, and uh, my manual's fine. We'll go over that in a minute. But first of all, we'll just talk about probably some of the earliest uh, type grinders were this sort of configuration, the Oregon Tecamec type grinders, where they've got a tilting vice, and you would use that uh, to tilt on the 10 degree downward uh, tilt if required. And one of the videos, and I remember seeing it, and I thought, yeah, that's not a bad little jingle, a uh, little phrase. And uh, the man was sort of like giving a bit of a demonstration and sort of said, look, if you sort of forget sometimes which way to put the vice, you know, left or right, remember this phrase, that if you're doing the right-hand cutter, uh, push the knob away from you. So a lot of people actually use that on a sliding vice on a sliding vice it's the opposite direction it's pull it towards you that's where the big confusion comes in for a lot of people and what you've got to realize that jingle right away means he's pushing the knob away from him he's not pushing the vice away the vice is actually tilting towards him which is the same scenario in a uh, Jolly Evo Tecamec, which we've got over here. So, on this particular model here, if you're going to do the right-hand side, which is the closest towards you, you will pull it towards you. Now, for those that are getting a little bit confused between right away, let me put it another way. On any grinder, doesn't matter what it is, all you've got to remember that if this is the grinding wheel and this is the center line and you've got your right hand tooth this side and your left hand tooth that side of the wheel, that when you do a 10 degrees downward tilt, the tooth will move away from the center line. So the right hand tooth will go that way, the left hand tooth will go that way. So that's all you have to remember that the tooth moves off the center line. Now, what we've done here, I've done a diagram, and the diagram, there's the center line of the grinding wheel, and here is a left-hand tooth and a right-hand tooth sitting at zero. They're only a couple of mils off the center line because they're spaced apart. But when you do a 10-degree downward tilt, and this is on a sliding vice, you move the left, or you move the this tooth, away so it depends where you're looking if we're looking from uh this is a right hand tooth if we're looking uh, from the back of the grinder and this is a left hand tooth if we're looking from the back of the grinder but the same principle applies if you on a sliding vice if you want 10 degrees downward tilt you'll move it away from the center line a right hand tooth you'll move it away from the center line it's that simple it couldn't be more simple and on a tilt vice, which I just showed you before, what happens that when you move that, the axis, you'll find out that it moves off the axis and it's the same thing, but it moves off the center line towards the right-hand side and the same as the left-hand one. It moves off the axis and moves towards uh, off the center line, towards the left. Now... In my manual, for those people, I've got a Jolly Evo, but a lot of the manuals, the Oregon manuals, are almost identical. So in this particular one, and I don't know whether you can read that. We'll see whether you can. It says, right-hand cutter. Move vice towards the operator until the reference mark matches. So in other words, that's a 10 degrees. And the left-hand cutter is the same. Move the vice towards the opposite side of the operator. So that's for the left-hand cutter. So... That's on page uh, nine. 
and they're all in different languages so the languages probably take up near 100 pages and then when you get to the back of the manual on page 121 there's all these different diagrams and here we go so here we are on the right hand cutter you can see that and the arrow points away from the wheel and on the left hand cutter same thing look at that away from the operator away from the wheel so i hope that is uh that geometry just to just to give a brief recap always remember if you're not sure and you're going to do a 10 degrees downward tilt on any grinder whether it's a sliding vice or whether it's a combination sliding vice tilt vice because the more expensive ones have both built into them in any case, the 10 degrees downward tilt requires, whether it's a left-hand tooth or a right-hand tooth, and if we look at the centre line of the grinding wheel, the tooth will move away from that centre line, left or right, and that's all you've got to remember. So left is away, right is away. So just remember that jingle. They're both aways. Left away, right away from the center line if you remember that you'll never make a mistake look thanks for watching i hope that clears up the confusion maybe there was a misprint on the manual that the guy was reading i don't know i haven't seen the manual i don't know which one he's referring to but my jolly evo manual uh is fine i've only had that for about just on a year now so maybe there was an older version uh yeah anyway thanks for watching